Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to be talking about the build of the um, Real ACC D215 frame. I did the frame review and I built the frame out and just demoed that briefly in a previous video. Put a card up here in the corner if you want to see the build of the frame. Uh, I'm going to go over sort of quickly how I put this together, but as you can see here I've uh, crashed it and broken the frame here at the arm. Um, I'll talk about that in a second. I, I'll just you know, quickly go over how I put this together. It took me a while to actually get this video out. I have, I've had uh, this kit for a while. This kit actually comes with some different ESCs. It comes with a frame, uh, these Racer Star motors, these are the uh, BR2305 2400 KV motors, um, and comes with an F4 flight control. I think it's the Omnibus F4 V2 Pro, I believe, and it comes with the PDB. Does not come with the um, FPV system. Here's the AKK. I think this is the uh, KC02. Is the camera plus the uh, video transmitter. That's 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 not part of the kit. And you get these props. It comes with some Racer Star 40 amp BL Heli SECs. And I wanted to try out these um, Racer Star uh, Tattoo 35 amp ESCs. These are actually the BL Heli 32 ESCs. And I have, I have a separate video on this uh, where basically the reason that this whole video got delayed is because I had, a, had trouble figuring out how to get the ESCs configured to actually work. Now, in terms of like the flight characteristics of, of this frame, I can't really tell you a whole lot. I, I flew it for maybe five minutes and uh, I ended up crashing it on the first flight and um, yeah, I, uh, I, I, I honestly don't know why it broke because uh, it wasn't really that hard of a crash. I was maybe 10 feet off the ground. I did hit pretty fast, pretty, I was going pretty fast, but um, I'm not really sure why it broke. I'll show that in a second. The build is fairly straightforward. Um, I just put the PDB on here and then I put the flight controller on top. Uh, the ECs were uh, soldered to the PDB. And then I soldered the motors onto the ESC, and then I connected the flight controller to the PDB, connected the receiver to the flight controller, and then I connected the FPV system to the PDB and the flight controller. That's pretty straightforward stuff here. Nothing, there's nothing really unusual about this build. Now let me talk about the frame and why I don't recommend it. Um, it shouldn't have broken here. You can see here where the weak spot is, and here's the, here's the arm right here. I don't know why they have to have additional cutouts here. I think they made these for the 1806 size motors or something like that. A different size. Obviously people are going to fly this on 5 inches and use a 220X size motor, so these cutouts are just asking for trouble here, and that's why it broke. It broke here and broke here. It's too thin. It should have... Um, had more carbon here. They just shouldn't have put this in here in the first place. It's just dumb. This is why I don't recommend you get this frame because I didn't hit the ground that hard and it snapped right there. Not only that, the motor itself, well it doesn't spin. So you can see, the reason it doesn't spin is because the bottom part of the motor is, is warped from this crack. And I'm not sure if the camera will get that into focus or not, but you can see how the bottom of the motor is warped like that. It's pretty soft aluminum. I, I, you know, these are pretty cheap motors. So um, if you're looking for a motor to survive this type of a crash, this motor ain't going to be cutting it. But I'm assuming if if, if you're going to get, a, I would say get a better frame. If you're going to be using these motors, you don't get this kind of a crash because this should not be happening. Don't get a frame that has this kind of a cutout here. This is just a bad design. And this will happen, and then that will happen to your motor. I don't think that even if this were a stronger, more expensive motor, I'm not sure if it would survive this type of damage. It would probably be bent down here as well, even if it's like a, a stronger uh, grade of aluminum. So yeah, obviously don't get a frame like this, and don't get a good motor, because you'll probably damage that too with this type of frame. That being said, uh, you know the other motors are fine. Of course, I, I probably hit this particular corner right here, and that's why it got broke but you can see how it delaminated right there. The layers of the carbon just snapped and then it's all delaminated. It's pretty interesting. 
a pretty obvious weak spot there in the frame. And if you hit it at the right angle, I think you hit it right there, it'll just snap right off. So anyway, enough of that. Uh, enough to talk about this. Obviously, weak frame. Uh, this motor is not going to be able to survive that kind of a crash. Uh, obviously, the other motors are fine because they, they didn't uh, hit, take a direct hit. But, um, you know, for this, in, ter in terms of this frame, I would say don't buy it. It's just, uh, I think the design is flawed. So, um, yeah, if you're going you're gonna to end up crashing and then doing this kind of damage to your motors, uh, it ain't worth it. So just don't get the frame in the first place. I have other videos on the um, camera here and the uh, uh, video transmitter. So if you want to see flight footage of this frame, I'll have it on this video with the camera. It's the, it's the AKK KCO2. I'll put a card up here in the corner so you guys can click on that. And then I'll have a separate video talking about the uh, Beale Heli 32 ESCs because I have more stuff to talk about that, but it's more relevant to just the ESCs, not this frame. Anyway, guys, don't buy this frame. Let me know if you guys have any questions, and I'll talk to you guys later.